let us start with Law Seco's thorough newspaper analysis for 5th October 2023. Now, let us look at the agenda for the day. It's a very interesting editorial based on the World Cup, which is starting from 5th October. I am sure that you guys would be watching this particular World Cup, which is happening in India. Delhi High Court passes dynamic injunction against illegal ICC World Cup broadcast. What this means and what was the case, which we have taken from the Indian Express. Then we'll talk about some news update, which will include national, international, important days, awards and sports. And lastly, then we'll be discussing about some legal news update, uh, which we have taken from Honorable Supreme Court and High Court of different states in India. Chalier. Let us start with a very interesting editorial, which is based on a dynamic injunction, which is passed against nine websites for illegally broadcasting the ICC Men's World Cup 2023 matches. Now, the World Cup is starting from 5th October and will be ending on 9th November, but the court has passed the dynamic injunction in favor of the official broadcaster, which is the Star India Private Limited before the cup is commenced. Now, a very relevant question that will be coming in your mind is what is dynamic injunction per se? So, we'll be talking about dynamic injunction, but let us understand first, what was this editorial all about? Observing the rogue websites which have indulged in piracy of copyrighted content previously are very likely to continue communicating copyright works to the public during currency of World Cup 2023. It was held by the single judge bench of Justice Pratibha Singh said this could lead to a severe dent in the revenue of Star India. Now, let us understand what is injunction. Injunction is an official order from the court, usually to stop someone from doing something. It's a restraint. However, in most cases, such injunctions are granted by the court only after the court identifies the work and determines the plaintiff copyright in that work. Now, in this particular case, the World Cup did not start it, but before that only the court has passed the order. So, dynamic injunction is passed to protect the copyrighted work even before they are publicly released, distributed or created. Then the court sometimes rely on dynamic injunction for this. It ensures no irreparable loss to uh, the authors and the owner owing to the eminent possibility of such work being uploaded on the rogue's website. This is not the first time the Delhi High Court has passed a dynamic injunction. In the month of August, the court observed that Given the nature of the illegalities that the website indulge in, there is a need to pass injunction which are also dynamic in nature. As once a film or a series is released, it might be immediately uploaded on the website causing severe and instant monetary loss to its creator. Now, let us see that in what in other cases the injunctions were passed. In the present case, the Star India Private Limited said that since 2021, the Delhi High Court had granted similar dynamic injunctions against several such websites in Star India's favor, which led to them ultimately being taken down. Besides this, Star India also relied upon a very important case which uh, was held on 9th August in the case of Universal City Studios versus Dot Movies Baby. In this particular case, the court passed the dynamic injunction protecting works generated during the case pendency and even those which might be created in future from infringement till the time court comes to rescue of the right holder. Now, the third case in which the Delhi High Court passed dynamic injunction and in which the concept of dynamic injunction was introduced was in the case of UTV Software Communication Limited and others versus 1337X in 2019. In this, the pres uh, similarly, the present plea filed by the Star India stated that Given the exclusive right which we have, they, they have got from ICC, they enjoyed broadcast reproduction right which are contemplated under Section 37 of the Copyright Act. Adding that, in the past, it had come across almost all major sporting events 
being illegally communicated and disseminated on the internet, Star approached the court seeking an injunction restraining the defendant website. Now, what is section 37 of the Copyright Act 1957? It's a special right which extends to the broadcasting organization. Now, in 37.2, it constitutes what constitutes an infringement of this right. It states that during the continuance of a broadcast reproduction right, any person without the license of the right owner engages in rebroadcasting, causes the broadcast to be heard or seen by public on payment of charges, makes a reproduction of such sound or visual recording where the initial recording was done without license, or sells or hires to public or offers to sell or hires to public, will be deemed to be infringed this right subject to the provision of section 39. So in this particular editorial, we talk about the dynamic injunction which has been passed by the Delhi High Court. What is dynamic injunction? And if this particular injunction was not granted, what particular copyright act was infringed, which is section 37, and listing down the listing down what where the where without the license of the right owner, the reproduction right can be infringed. So we talked about dynamic injunction, which was a new concept introduced in 2019. We talk about copyright act, and this was something very interesting to know. And I hopefully the World Cup starts today, and you guys enjoy with the particular same, uh, you know, matches. So let us start with the national news of the day. Now let us start with the national news of the day. Asian Games 2023 Athletics, Paru Chaudhary, Anu Rani win gold medals. Paru Chaudhary and Anu Rani claim milestones for India in athletics at the Asian Games 2023 at Hongzhou. The Public Republic of China with gold medals in 5000 meter race and javelin throw respectively. It's the first time that India topped the podium in the women's 5,000 meter race and women's javelin throw in the Asian Games history. Now, let us understand the side note, which is the exam takeaway. Indian Asian Games 2023 so far medal tally is 84 medals, which is 24 gold, 31 silver and 32 bronze. So, a very good news coming from the Asian Games 2023 for India. Now, Indian Military Academy commemorates 91st Rising Day at Dehradun. The IMA Dehradun, known as the Cradle of Military Leadership, commemorated the 91st, 91st Rising Day on Tuesday with Ellen and traditional gaiety. Now, on the occasion, Lieutenant General V.K. Mishra, commanded IMA, conveyed his appreciation to the Academy fraternity for their dedication and contribution towards transforming the academy into a world-class military organization. Now, tell me in the comment box the TNA questions for the day. When is the Army Day observed? When is the Army Day observed? And earlier this year, who became the first woman to command an Army Battalion? So, do tell me this particular questions for interesting gifts and giveaways. So, when is the Army Day observed? And earlier this year, who became the first woman to command at Army Battalion? Chale? Chale. Next news ki taraf chalte hain. Sudha Murthy, the first woman to get Global Indian Award. Sudha Murthy, a very renowned author and a wife of Infosys co-founder, Shri N.R. Narayan Murthy, was honored with the Global Indian Award by the Canada India Foundation. The Global Indian Award is worth $50,000, is given annually to prominent Indians who have excelled in their respective fields. A very important exam takeaway for you guys, earlier this year in April 2023, she was also conferred with Padma Bhushan for her immense contribution in the field of social work. A very renowned author. Guys, if somebody want to read, start reading. You can always start with reading uh, Sudha Murthy's books. Very interesting books. So she got a Global Indian Award. Now, India-Bangladesh kickstart two-week military exercises in Meghalaya. 
with an aim to share tactical drills and promote best practices practices in carrying out subconventional operations the exercise name is sampriti 11 promises to further enhance the defense cooperation between india and bangladesh the lead unit from the bangladesh army side is 27 bangladesh infantry regiment the indian contingent mainly comprises troops from battalion at a rajput regiment so it's a two minute uh, two week military exercise in meghalaya इम्पॉर्टेंट डेज की तरफ चलते हैं वर्ल्ड एनिमल वेलफेयर डे 2023 इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फोर्थ अक्टूबर विद एन एम टू प्रोटेक्ट एनिमल राइट्स नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द थीम ऑफ द डे ग्रेट और स्मॉल लव देम ऑल दिस थीम एम्फोसाइजेस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ट्रीटिंग ऑल एनिमल्स विद कम्पैशन एंड रिस्पेक्ट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ देयर साइज और स्पीशीज नाउ what is the history of this particular day this particular day according to the world animal protection world animal welfare day was first celebrated on march 24 1925 in germany and was officially established in october 4 1925 it was started by hendrik zimmermann a dog expert who organized the first celebration at the sport palace in berlin which was reportedly attended by over 5000 people so october 4 world animal welfare day next international news nobel prize in physics 2023 for experimental methods that generate auto second pulses of light for the study of electron dynamics in matter the royal swedish academy of sciences dhyan rakhiyega the organization that announced and decide the award for nobel prize in physics is royal swedish academy for sciences which is pierre agostini fenrik krons and nal huiler yaad rakhiyega jo bhi different sectors hai jisme nobel prize milta hai un sab ke sectors ki jo organization unhe deti hai wo alag alag hoti hai so do remember the organizations are different for every sector who has been awarded with the award the three nobel laureates in physics are being recognized for their experiments which have given humanity new tools for exploring the world of electrons inside atoms and molecules winner for the other category announced so far announced so far has been included in the yesterday's tna and we are regularly updating as as and when the announcements are done now canada elects first black sheep a speaker of the house of commons the house of common voted in greg fergus as its first black speaker following the resignation of the previous speaker who had invited a nazi veteran to parliament fergus was served with the parliament since 2015 chairs the black caucus in parliament and has held senior advisory roles in a number of ministers now ten questions for you guys for today who is the current lok sabha speaker in india i am asking about in india who is the current lok sabha speaker after receiving the president resignation the vp has to forfeit communicate to whom which article provides for this requirement and lastly which article of the indian constitution provides for appointment election of lok sabha speaker dekhiye agar aap ye questions ka saath saath answer dete rahenge then आपके मेमोरी भी उतनी ही शार्प होती रहेगी बिकॉज हम ये क्वेश्चन ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस डील नहीं करते हैं तो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वाचिंग दिस टीएनए टू एक्चुअली लर्न द टीएनए द मैनर दैट इट शुड बी डू आंसर्स दिस क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स चले नेक्स्ट न्यूज की तरफ चलते हैं इंडोनेशिया लॉन्चेस चाइना बैट वुश साउथ ईस्ट एशिया फर्स्ट हाई स्पीड रेलवे Indonesia's president Joko Jokowi Widodo has recently officiated the opening ceremony of the country's high speed railway connecting the capital Jakarta and Bandung in West Java. Southeast Asia's first high speed railway link the national capital Jakarta to Bandung a major economic hub. The last news of the day which is a legal update coming from the honorable supreme court now the order is not currently available but yes this has been the verdict given by honorable supreme court related to hindu marriage act that the hindu marriage can be dissolved through customary divorce 
if existence of such customary right is established. Now the court said by virtue of 29 subsection 2, which states that none of the previous provision of the act will affect any right recognized by custom or comfort by any special enactment to obtain the dissolution of Hindu marriage. At the same time, the court stated that the party relying on a customary divorce deed must prove that the customary right existed. There has to be a specific pleading before the court regarding the existence of such customary right and it should be established through evidence. That's all for the today's news update. I have told that for the previous TNAs, we always post a link in the description box so that you can revise that particular TNA well. So if you want to revise that particular TNA, you should attempt the quiz link given in the description box, which will help you to revise it and learn and memorize well. Do tell us our feedback and keep sharing, posting and subscribing our channel. Thank you for watching. Take care.